Today, we're going to do some what if analysis using data tables in Excel. Let's say I really want to start a t shirt printing business to make t shirts of all my favorite Excel functions. So, I'm going to have to buy a t shirt printing machine, which is going to cost me about $1,000. So, that'll be my fixed cost or my fizz cost. Oops. And my variable cost is $5. Let's say it costs me $5 to print each shirt. So, depending on the price that I charge, let's start with saying $9 and the number of t shirts I sell, um, maybe I can sell 100 t shirts. I want to know what my profit will be. So, I'm going to write a profit equation, which is going to put in parentheses my price minus my variable cost times the number of t shirts sold minus my fixed cost, the cost of the machine. I'm losing $600 if I sell 100 t-shirts at $9 each. So, let's change these values and see how my potential profit changes. And as I change the price and the quantity, I can see how my profit adjusts. But there has to be a better way to do this. So, I'm going to build a table and across the top, I'm going to put in the potential prices I might charge. $7, $8, all the way up to $16. On the left side, I'm going to look at different quantities. So, maybe I can only sell 50 t-shirts or 100. Let's go up by 50 until we reach 700. Remember that profit equation that I've written over here? Now, let's put that in the top left-hand corner of our data table. So, price minus variable cost times quantity minus my fixed cost of $1,000. Now, let's highlight the entire table and go to data, the top, what if analysis and then data table. First, it's going to want to know what to do with all the values in this row across the top. And these are my potential prices. So, I want these to go into the price cell. So, the row input cell is price. For the data in the column here, the input cell is quantity because I want to try out all these different quantities in my profit equation. So, hit OK and you can see the table will populate and now I can easily see that if I only charge $7 per t-shirt, I'm not going to break even until I sell 500 t-shirts. And if I charge $15 a t-shirt, I'll break even at 100 t-shirts and be making $5,000 if I can sell 600 and that's it. That's how you use data tables to do what if analysis to get a full picture of the problem you're trying to solve. Don't forget to subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks.